Yo, what is going on guys? Kuba, bringing you a video here just to go over some of our strategies and kind of more in-depth guide on what we're doing for Rogue Mage. So first ma match here, we got uh, Alliance. So I'm just kind of avoiding Perception. Somehow this guy doesn't find me, I didn't really go that far, but we open on the Mage with a Garot. He's already blinked, he gets me out, but we go for the cheap shot. He's going to have to block this or else he has to kidney too. I kick the pet here. He immediately comes out tries to cast. Polly, he has to trink a kidney. Blink. We keep up crippling. QWERTY throws the CS and this guy's just gone. Rogues. Got a nice little front row seat there. He AFKs out. Next game. Let's go. I get the same team, same map here. This one, we're a little bit more aggressive. I'm sitting right on top of QWERTY here. Sometimes this doesn't pay off, sometimes it does. QWERTY gets the rogue, we're sitting good. We open him, get a bleed, he trinkets. Now here I probably should have sat, but I was playing a little aggressive. Run right into the mage, he gets me out. Not really that good. QWERTY gets the sheep. Rogue banishes his uh, belt, did backfire. Not good that we couldn't get him there, but we get him back here. No trinket, should be game. Line the poly, cloak the second one. Now we got ourselves a 1v1. So his pet's still on me here. I kind of have to push in to get an open or else he's eventually just going to blizzard me out. He's low on mana though, so that's the big key in this one. I don't have step, I probably should have waited a little bit. Blind instead of deadly throw that. Kind of just sitting here now, bandage in between water, water alley attacks, he gets the DR Nova, we get crippling back up. Now we just kind of have to sit out belt, it's not that good. He blocks, try to bait out like the kick on the welly, the welly dies and we just put crippling back up and he zoom. I think we got another rogue mage here. We get a sap on the mage. Mage gets me out. Fucked up the vanish too. Not a great start. Not sure how we didn't sheep off that, but... I think he just got stepped kicked. He doesn't get the sheep again, so it's a 1v1. Kind of just have everything popped here. Evasion, ghostly, belt. Match his evasion once it's off. I wasn't sure if he was going to try to step me up here, so I kind of waited this one out. We're both crippled, so he can't really go anywhere. He evis is there for damage, so he can't kidney. Try to get a tick of cannibalize here, don't get it. Now we just play who can get the re and cheap shot the other. I think I had more stealth, so I see him here. And it's GG. Alright, another rogue mage here. Rogue gets the open on me. I trinket blind vanish. We're playing from a disadvantage now, so I have to be playing careful. Kuriti's kind of beating the mage, so we're good there. I kind of threw this match, but Kuriti made up for it. I get polyed off the blind, no out. Kuriti sits full block. And he's just, he's dead here, yeah. But, we get a nice little crit, and it's a 1v1. Rogue has no trinket, we go for the full kidney, we gouge, uh, looking to possibly get blind up if we can. 
also wear down some of the time of evasion too. Keep him crippled, bled, he has to sit there and eat on the last tick of rupture, get a sap, and it's a win. Resap off DR is open. Actually, I didn't have kidney there. But I think we're still fine. Go up to slow. Yeah, we still had belt. Alright, switching up comps. We're doing some rogue priests. We faced these guys a bit at 2400. Uh, this priest was trying to use skull. He pops it now. Not the best timing. QWERTY still had like 10 seconds left on his invis, and now this priest is half mana for no reason. So we take this as a good open. Sap him. QWERTY pops all CDs. Gets shield and goes for fireball. He gets garroted, but he didn't put the priest in combat, so we get a resap and kind of just do the same thing again. I should have waited for CS to fall here, but we just grow and start going big. Priest is just dead at this point. There's nothing you can do. Second grow. See ya. We'll take those. Throw in some Warrior Druid here. Uh, I know people say it's face roll for Rogue Mage, but at this rating, these guys give a good fight. and You know, you'll see. So pretty much for our open here, we're looking for low life blooms on the Druid before Cheap Shot. Um, try to distract any of his drinks too. Sometimes if he goes for casting all of his hots, is a good time to open with like three seconds left on life bloom. So we had to get off intervene there. We wait for silence to fall. We do another grow. Didn't get to get it before NS. Kind of sucks, but... Now we just wait for another re at this point. Warrior's trinketed and is just eating full sheeps, so we just kind of have to avoid him, keep wounds up. Trinket the intercept, warrior pops skull now, we're just kind of staying on druid. Blind him when groats off, out of form. Now we can get a sap off, we just kind of have to hug. Pillar with QWERTY and he slows, we get the sap. Bleed was still ticking, and inter or he gets Innervate up. QWERTY wands that off, pro play, and we step open, and it's pretty much GG. So yeah, same thing. We're just pushing in. Warrior doesn't really aggro that much. Sometimes he'll just sit on top of the Druid, so when he's casting regrowths and getting rejuves up is when he'll start to go for drinks, and that's when you can look to get an open with low life bloom timers. We get a pretty good one here, I think. Gouge for QWERTY to connect. Druid's going to sit this because he didn't have that much burst on the open. That's fine. QWERTY CSs. I grow out too early. Mistake by us. He belts. We hold Evis for after belt. Just kind of lining the warrior, keeping wounds up, making sure we can play the long game because some of these warrior druid games do take a bit longer. We cloak here to get the re, make sure we can cross. Druid's going to look for a drink here. Got to stop that. Stuns are off DR, so we get a full open again. Gouge for QWERTY to get here. He trinkets this one. We're sitting good. We kind of line earlier. He CSs too because we don't want to get ferried, right? The blind while CS is still up. Get the free re here. Come into QWERTY, QWERTY to get the slows on the warrior. We don't get to sap off, but we waited until DRs were back up off blind. So this match has been going for a while. I didn't actually get the full recording of it, but as you can see, like this guy, they both held trinkets forever. Even right there, he NS clones me. Pretty good play, I have no trinket. He gets full distance across, but QWERTY's still on him. Finally get the Warrior's trinket, and now I'm just trying to get a clean re here if I can. Torin, though, sick game. QWERTY 
Cordy gets the sheep, we get the re. Druid's going to trinket this kidney. We don't have blind because we threw it on the warrior. Go for a re here, try to get some eat. We don't have cloak to get a re, so we're just kind of stuck here holding combo points on the druid. Got a kidney here, but it's kind of useless. Just buying time at this point, avoiding the warrior. Keeping wounds up as well. Yeah, we have to belt here because Warrior's on DRs. Quirty can't get a sheep yet. He got kicked. But we get the, the re and blinds up in 10, so we're staying good. We open off the CS, full kidney. Wounds are up. We're sitting good. Blinds up too. We're going to blind him as soon as he comes out of form, and it's GG. He didn't get fairy up. He went for the greedy moonfire. And we'll just sap until DRs are up and reopen. Yeah, this one was close. Alright, this is a tough comp for us. Uh, we have to be really aggressive. This is the worst map too. He gets the skull so we don't get the sap. Sap the priest. Cordy has to make the long journey across the bridge. I think he has to block to get across here too. Yeah. So, I mean, we're just at a really bad disadvantage. First cheap shot resists. He gets a shatter though. We're looking good. Priest trinkets. PSs. Now at this point, we're kind of just waiting DRs. Um, he immolates me instead of kind of casting some dots, so I can just line him at this point. Blind the priest when we have DR set. Full sap. Get a little eat here. And we get a reopen. Locke probably should have turned the corner here to start opening on me, but... We'll take the free re. Kidney, kick fear, keep going. So yeah, it's all about the open against Warlock, Priest, making sure you have pressure on the open and can make use out of getting their trinkets early. Really only have one reset and one go again and you're on a timer the whole time. Here we have Rogue Druid, another tough matchup for us, uh, Alliance too, so we're kind of fighting to get the open here. I pop goggles, get the sap on the Rogue, and we're just going to full send it on the Druid at this point. Quirty, as you can see, he's sitting on top of bridge, pretty much halfway in between Druid and Rogue, so he can sheep Rogue off. Druid trinkets the kidney, he's in pressure now. We silence and then blind when DRs are up because we're not going to be able to sap. Now he comes out of form, so even better. We get the full blind out of form, we can sap off, and it's game over at this point. Rogue is snared, so we're good to go. I should have Evis instead of Rupture, but he's still dead anyway. I think this one does come down to a 1v1 too. Cordy can't really get away here, he steps. Yeah, he trinkets kills and... So yeah, we're just... Keeping up crippling, trying to make sure we don't get kited here too. Everyone gets a re here, and we're wearing the better stealth shirts, so we get the open. Here we got Zetox and a Holy Paladin. So we're just kind of waiting up sack. Um, 
once it gets down to below 10 seconds we look for a sap you know it's at four so we sap make sure you can't reapply that query comes in gets the sheep and we're good for a good open silence the trinket we're sitting real good he's gonna have to bubble here soon we haven't used anything except for evasion really where it gets the intercept we trinket that and just sit in line and go again behind this pillar is kind of annoying but it also hurts the warrior a little bit Growed off the kidney and he's gone. We throw a blind to get the trinket, get a sheep. He kicks it, we slow him. And that's game. Priest Mage, another tough one for us. Uh, Gordy just has a tough time crossing the map here. Mage invis is from the start, so I can't really sap him. He's all the way over there looking for combat. Luckily, Cordy avoids it, so we can sprint in here, sap the mage, look for a resap on the trinket. He doesn't. We just open on the CS. Priest trinkets like an idiot into a kidney, and we're sitting good. Avoid the sheep. Blind off the kidney because we're good to resap and kill him now. Priest should have to trinket the cheap shot of the kidney if you have enough pressure. If you don't, uh, you kind of have to either just stick him or blind for the trinket and reset. 